All right guys, I'm here with my cousin Eugene. We're gonna go over Tayatoshi today, the most concise instructional video ever made. We'll talk about right versus right, right versus left. Just like a 10 minute overall overview on Tayatoshi. Classically, Tayatoshi okay, is taught this way. We go one, two, turn. Notice the center of his gravity is directly over this line. One, two, now move to the side. Okay, see how we're on the same line? His body weight keeps going. I'm gonna to add to that by bringing his hands forward. I'm gonna tuck my elbow in. I'm gonna shoot so my calf is gonna be on his shin. Notice the position of my legs. I'm gonna drive him forward and then push my calf back and then take him over this leg. This is the most classic Tatoshi that you can learn. There's lots of questions I get about position of your feet. Hand position is pretty universal. Like most turn throws here, it's gonna be Check the wrist watch pulling forward. This hand, my wrist goes up into the ear. Okay, so my wrist is very strong. No, no weak wrists here. Okay, you wanna keep it very strong. Tuck the elbow in the armpit. But everyone always asks, should I go here or should I turn my knee down? And I'm gonna tell you, it is preference. Depends on how heavy the guy is that you're going with. You kinda of have to kind of play with it a little bit. You know, I personally like to go Tatoshi, right, when the weight comes forward. Calf on shin with my toe aligned with his. So I can push this calf back into his shin. Okay, so the weight goes back that way, my leg goes back into him here. So now I have a snapping motion with the leg. And notice, the weight is distributed evenly. If I don't sufficiently off balance him forward, and if I go into this tile, and his weight is behind me, and if I go here, and he drives his knee onto my leg, look, there's gonna be lots of problems. Knee, ankle. That's why some people say I turn my foot this way, so even if the knee comes down on my leg, there's a little bit more give. So it's a preference thing. We're gonna look at Taitoshi from here. We're gonna go, same idea, one, Turn, Tatoshi. Here's a couple of cool ideas for Tatoshi that I really like, that people have been doing. They take an overhand grip here, and they have the sleeve. I turn, you can do a Tatoshi from here. I've seen this recently in a competition. They break the sleeve here. They keep the cross grip, they go lapel, and then they go Tatoshi here. So those are just some basic ideas. But generally, Tatoshi is done right side versus left side. So let's look at that. Right side versus left side position. Okay, now, the configuration is a little bit different, okay, because of their foot. What I like to do for Tatoshi, this is sort of a classic right side versus left side Tatoshi, is I like to take a back step from this position. See how we're angled off at a 90 degree? I'm gonna take a back step so my foot, my left foot is in alignment across, straight across with the Eugene's feet, okay? So one, two, three, foot's across. And from this position, look, I'm gonna bump his leg with my hip, boom. So you see how I shift this leg out of the way? by bumping my hip into him. So when I go here, I open, I bump the leg out of the way with my hip, and now that puts the weight on that far leg. Now I can take him forward here with the Tatoshi using my hands. Okay, look at the position of my feet, bang. That's one way to do Tatoshi. Sometimes I could force that same position where I drive my opponent's weight onto that far leg by coming for a Ouchi. If I go Ouchi here, boom, you see how now I elevate this leg, I'm driving my opponent away, and now the weight's on that leg. And now from here, I'm gonna take my leg from here and shoot it across into a Tatoshi. In this instance, I'm taking him over here, but you could also take him in this direction. In order to do this, you're gonna have good dominant position with the hand. You're gonna post the hand on the chin, pull so there's tension where the opponent's chin is touching his shoulder. But now look, I drive and the weight is on that leg. I could come across and take him Tatoshi by going across. We have a little bit of an idea how to do tile, the mechanics, right side versus right side, and right side versus left side. How do we make this work in our Vandori setting? Here's what I like to call doing a double tile. One, two, look, bang. So now, you see that leg is out of the way? I take this back leg, step, and now it looks like a right versus right tile. Okay, now I can shoot across, bang. Right versus right, do Uchimano ones. Whoa, he knows it's coming. He shifts his weight to that outside leg. Uchimata can't do it. And now I make it look like I'm going Uchimata. Uchimata's coming, pivot, and now there's my Tatoshi here. Some tips that you may that help you overcome some resistance. If he's pinning this elbow down to my side of my body here, bang, very difficult to turn into this. So I have to release this tension first. Way I could do this is look, I could take him back this way. See, so now it's up harder for him with this structure to prevent my elbow coming through and then me closing my body. You could do this with Sasai as well. He's pinning this elbow down, Sasai, bang. I could even go down and cut this in. Now look, I tuck it. So now there's nothing preventing me from entering here. So I can shoot my hips across and attack this side. Maybe I get it, maybe I don't. Maybe he steps away here. Boom, this is okay. Cause now look, I just adjust the gi, take the hand off, and now we're right back here. Right versus right, you see this dominant position? If he reaches to grab my collar here, okay look, I can put the tension back and he's coming forward and I can release it and use that momentum to take him tight out too. Okay, so you have to be aware of what this hand's doing, what this hand's doing. In an ideal situation, he's not holding his hand at all and he's driving forward. This is great because it's very easy for me to turn and go tight out here. 
but no one ever does that. The combination, if it's right versus right, to adjust the gi kochi and then try to put this hand. So now the only thing I have to worry about in order for me to enter is this hand. Okay, right now it's in a good position, so I may be able to throw my body in here. See, I'm leaning into them, driving the weight across, and then going tied up to this direction. So those are some nice tips for Tatoshi. Anything I would add in the beginning when you talked about the mm. feet in this configuration or knee down, I don't think either way matters as long as the uke is far over the leg over there. Yeah. If I'm stable back here, then once you shoot the leg across, then you can't get the body over the leg. So the body has to be over the leg first. Then whatever you do here doesn't matter as much because they're yes. flying, flying good over. Call. Good call. I think the biggest issue a lot of people have with tile is that they're sitting too directly in front and they try to turn here and they're in this awkward position. You have to move out to the side. Okay, that's why I like Kosoro for this. If I go Kosoro this way, right, I could Kosoro and now it's a lot easier to pivot to the side because it's usually directly in front of me. I'm taking this foot attack. Bang, and then placing it to the outside. So now when I pivot off of this, I'm a lot you know, more to the outside. Now, this is the entry. He's going this way, I'm shooting this leg across here. So, Kosoto's a nice little thing to set up. When you're practicing without doing the throw, you shoot the leg across here and then trying to bring mm. the arms around. So a lot of times with the Uchikomi, it's getting into this side position here first, yeah. and then using the leg, shooting the leg across when you're actually doing the full throw. The throw should be happening first. Yeah as you're shooting the leg across. Also, try not to do tie on heavier, bigger guys because just the weight discrepancy and how much your leg can bear that person's weight if they land on it is very different. If you're following someone 40 pounds lighter, so I always do like tile my weight class or one weight class below me and everyone below. Unless I'm absolutely certain that I could throw this guy with tile, I reserve it because it's a little bit more risky for me. Yeah. I think. You know? You'll see a lot more just in general in the lower weight classes too. Yes, yes. Heavyweights don't do tile. Oh, thank you.